All right, in this quick video, I'm gonna give a rundown on the types of ambulances. Uh, just real quick, also, um, what's expected of them and the companies as well. So really, you, we only have three types of rigs of ambulances. You have a type one, type two, type three, and depending on the service um, and the area, what they're required for, what they're needed for, will depend on which type they'll have. Some agencies may have all of them, depending on, on how much terrain they cover or how much region. Um, and then down here, these are actually considered to be more uh, specialty, specialty vehicles. Um, and these, of course, these are your type one, type two, uh, type three, uh, your specialty vehicles here. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the different types that um, are, are in the system. Now, by law, they have to be equipped um, and most, ca most uh, states regulate and kind of manage each company to make sure that they actually have what they need. So if for some reason these rigs aren't equipped with what they are supposed to have, let's say, I don't know, you have an inspection and the state just sends someone to go inspect the vehicles to see if they actually have um, what, they, what they're supposed to have, what they're supposed to be equipped with, um, and they don't have the, the necessary equipment for a patient, what will happen is that the company will be fined. Not only that, but also the people or the individuals that were in charge of stocking these will also be fined or could also potentially be fined. I think it depends on the company. Um, but that's just, you know, just going through operations real quick. Um, let's see what else I need to cover. Besides that, just the, the other thing that I'm going to hit up on this uh, quick video is the fact that you do have to uh, check the ambulance before service. So before each shift, you'll have to do pretty much all these things. And your company will have a list. Most companies that I, that I work for at least, they have a checklist that you have to go through. So you have to inspect the tires, make sure the grooves are, are good. Make sure you can actually look through the rear view meters depending on, on where you're sitting at. You no, know, you check the engine, making sure the oil is good. Also, you want to make sure you're fully stocked. So that's part of the checklist. So have a checklist and you'll go through it and just making sure you actually have fuel in the, in the vehicle as well. Uh, that's it for this little quick video on operations. Uh, again, the different types of ambulances that we have and the, your specialty vehicles, depending on where you are, will depend on what you have. They are governed by the state. Um, they're supposed to be fully equipped. If they're not, the company will be fined. Also, the ones that were responsible for making sure that they were stocked may also be fined. And before you actually start your shift, you will be expected to inspect your vehicle to make sure you're actually fully stocked and the vehicle is good to go.